क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन से इज द करेक्ट सेट ऑफ फोर क्वांटम नंबर्स फॉर द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ रिवीडियम एटम हैविंग एटॉमिक नंबर थर्टी सेवन इज फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन नो इफ वी लुक एट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ रिवीडियम एटम we will see that its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d10 4s2 4p6 5s1 rubidium atom has one electron in the 5s orbital of the outermost shell so the four quantum numbers of the outermost electron is principal quantum number 5 azimuthal quantum number 0 magnetic quantum number also 0 spin quantum number plus minus half these are the correct set of quantum numbers for the outermost electron of rubidium atom of the four options given the correct answer is option 2 now we will discuss the next question that is question number 72 question number 72 says consider separate solutions of 0.500 molar ethanol aqueous 0.100 magnesium phosphate aqueous 0.250 molar kbr aqueous and 0.125 molar sodium phosphate aqueous at 25 degrees celsius which statement is true about these solutions assuming all salts to be strong electrolytes 0.500 molar ethanol aqueous has the highest osmotic pressure they all have the same osmotic pressure 0.100 molar magnesium phosphate has the highest osmotic pressure and the last option is 0.125 molar sodium phosphate has the highest osmotic pressure now in this case when an electrolyte is dissolved in a solvent the electrolyte ionizes since these are all strong electrolytes they will be completely ionized so value of want of factor has to be taken into consideration the osmotic pressure is given by this relation pi is equal to i c r t for the aqueous ethanol solution the value of i will be 1 for ethanol the concentration is 0.5 the osmotic pressure will be given by 0.5 rt for the magnesium phosphate solution the want of factor will be 5 so osmotic pressure for the magnesium phosphate solution will be given by the value of i is 5 the concentration is 0.1 rt so osmotic pressure of magnesium phosphate solution is also 0.5 rt for the potassium bromide solution the want of factor will be 2 the concentration of kbr is 0.25 rt that is 0.5 rt 
and for the last sodium phosphate solution osmotic pressure will be given by this expression for sodium phosphate the Wanta factor is 4 so 4 into 0 0.125 RT this also gives 0 0.5 RT so all of them have same expression for the osmotic pressure all of them will have same value of the osmotic pressure that is option 2 is correct now we will discuss the next problem that is question number 73 Question number 74 says cesium chloride crystallizes in body centered cubic lattice if A is its edge length then which of the following expressions is correct four options are given that is sum of the radii of cesium ion and chloride ion root 3A, 3A, 3A by 2 or root 3A by 2 now if we look at the unit cell of cesium chloride In a cubic unit cell, the chloride ions occupy the corners of the cube. And cesium ion, cesium ion occupies the center of the cube. The cesium ion will be in contact with the chloride ions at the corners of the body diagonal. So the body diagonal of a cube that is root 3a where a is the edge length will be given by twice the sum of radius of cesium ion and radius of chloride ion. So sum of the radii of cesium ion and chloride ion will be given by root 3a by 2. So the correct answer is the fourth option that is the right answer. Now we will discuss the next question question number 75 question number 75 says in which of the following reactions hydrogen peroxide acts as a reducing agent four reactions are given H2O2 plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons gives 2H2O H2O2 loses two electrons to give oxygen and 2H plus. H2O2 gains two electrons to give two moles of OH minus. H2O2 plus 2H minus minus two electrons gives O2 plus 2H2O. Four options are given. As we know, gain of electrons is reduction, loss of electrons is oxidation. When H2O2 acts as a reducing agent, it means it gets oxidized. So loss of electrons is oxidation. H2O2 loses electrons in the reaction B as well as in the reaction D. So the option containing B and D is the right answer. So option 1 is the right answer. Now we will discuss the next question that is question number 76. Question number 76 says for which of the following molecule 
significant dipole moment is not equal to zero. Compound A is 1,4 dichlorobenzene. Compound B is 1,4 dicyanobenzene. Compound C is quinol. And compound D is 1,4 benzene dithiol. Compound A and compound B have zero dipole moment. CCL bond is polar. It will have bond dipole moment and the direction of bond dipole moment is towards chlorine atom. Similarly, the other CCL bond is also polar. It also has bond dipole moment towards CL. These two bond dipole moments are equal and opposite. They get cancelled. So dipole moment is 0. The compound B Cyanide group is attached to benzene. The sp hybridized carbon is more electronegative than sp2 hybridized carbon. So it will also have bond dipole moment that is again directed towards the carbon atom of cyanide group. Similarly, the other cyanide group will also have bond dipole moment between sp2 hybridized carbon and sp3 hybridized carbon. The CN bond is also polar. That will also have bond dipole moment. That again will be directed towards nitrogen. Same is the case here. Now the resultant of these bond dipole moments will cancel out. So it will also have zero dipole moment. The option C has two OH groups attached at the 1,4 position of benzene. Now this OH bond can freely rotate around CO bond. So the resultant of OH bond and CO bond will not get exactly cancelled by the resultant of CO bond and OH bond. So its dipole moment will not be zero. Because the OH group can freely rotate along CO bond. Same is the case with the option with the compound D. Here also the SH bond is polar. The resultant of SH bond and CS bond will not be exactly opposite to the resultant of SH and the CS bonds of the other SH group. So this also will have positive dipole moment. So compounds C and D have positive dipole moment of the given four options. The first option has these two compounds C and D. So option one is the correct answer. Now we move on to the next question that is question number 77.